Hello folks and welcome back to day two of the land yacht transformation from DC to AC drive pro 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 project. You can see that I've been um, practicing this and I also edit a lot. Now, behind me, the yacht, we've made some progress. Behold, where there was order, there is now chaos, which is kind of what I do. So, we have all of our old DC controls and motor and gearbox out. Uh, so, next part of the procedure is going to be cleaning up this particular wiring mess. Um, now, in the original uh, setup here in the electronics box, uh, we still have the original DME. And I kept that in there at the time because uh, I wanted to retain uh, the ability to run the traction control from the throttle body and also it basically supplied the necessary CAN messages to keep a lot of the instrument cluster stuff working properly. Well now that we've moved on a bit uh, we're going to lose the DME and the inverter will provide the CAN messages that we need. Uh, so, yeah, clean up time in here. And on the floor here, yeah, we've got pretty much made a mess out of Dave's workshop today. Um, so we've a lot of boxes and a lot of dirty bits and pieces, uh, some of which will be reused, but not all. Now, one other thing that seems to be cropping up about our DC drive system here has been... Uh, the fact that apparently uh, it's impossible for one to do something like this at home without having the gearbox fly apart. Well, I hate to rain on uh, certain people's parades, but this has been running for five years and 80,000 miles without any problems. And yes, I made this at home, and if you want to look in the description, you will find... Uh, the link to the three videos where for about two hours of some of the most riveting content that you will ever see, I turn, machine and weld this particular thing into place and show you how to line up the shafts without any measuring equipment, impossible clearly. Okay, so I'm going to get into clearing up the mess in here and we'll come back uh, when we have some of that done. Alrighty, so the good news is we have managed to remove the DME and quite a lot of the wiring mess. You'll have some wiring mess left, uh, but not half as bad as had been previously. Now one of the problems uh, that I had encountered uh, five years ago was that if I disconnected the DME, we didn't seem to get any ABS functioning. And that seems to have been because, believe it or not, the DME relay, which is this blue guy here, uh, controls power to the ABS controller. So if you unplug the DME, you get no power to your ABS system. So if you turn on uh, ignition with that relay disconnected, uh, Basically, we get an AB, ABS light. Now, if we now go ahead and pull a ground on this wire here, which basically turns on the relay, which I'll try and find the ground here somewhere. It's not going to just fall off on me. Uh, I'm going to get something. You can hear the double click over there of the power coming on to the um, power coming on to the uh, to the um, AB ABS pump, and that uh, pretty much uh, gets us our ABS functionality back. So that is the e box pretty much cleared out. Um, we'll just change that relay to being power side switched. 
and wire it uh, to the ignition on. Uh, that way we'll have our ABS back. So plan is uh, put all of our relays and controls in here so that I don't need any more of this mess job. Uh, so that'll be good. And also no more Arduino and no more DME. So that is about what we've got for you today. Uh, next day now we're going to be getting the motor in here so be good to start putting things back in finally. So uh, that is about it. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I won't rem remind you to check the links in the description for my Patreon, PayPal, GitHub and webshop because that's boring. And uh, until then, um, happy DME removal.